Would you like to visit and then stay one night in Bilbo Baggins' house? A cup of tea where Gandalf enjoyed his is a memorable experience. But what country is that house in? Yes, New Zealand. The country of rugby and amazing natural wonders. Hold on before you pack everything. Don't you need a visa to enter New Zealand? What are the visa rules after the COVID-19 pandemic? There are a few things you should know. Hi, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library team. This channel gives visa information about your travel destinations and the easiest ways to immigrate. Watch this video till the end so you'll learn whether you need a New Zealand tourist visa or not, how to apply, and things to know before entering the country. Before we get started, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. That way, you'll get notified about the latest videos. I also have a bonus for you. Stay till the end to get it. Okay then, let's get back to our question. Do you need a visa to visit New Zealand? Mm, the answer is up to your nationality. New Zealand has offered a visa waived program. It means a few countries can enter the country with their passport. Countries like the US, Israel, EU countries, Taiwan, Japan. The list of visa waived countries is quite long. Look at the visa library article from the link in the description so you'll know if you are among visa waived countries or not. These countries are exempt from a visa but need an NZTA. What is NZTA? New Zealand Electronic Travel Authority. NZTA application is online. It takes 15 minutes to complete and 10 minutes to 72 hours to get processed. An NZTA request costs you 9 New Zealand dollars on the free mobile application and 12 New Zealand dollars if you complete it on the internet. You can find the link to apply for an NZTA in the description. Australian citizens, hey, I'm talking to you. You don't need an NZTA. You can visit New Zealand with just your passport. All right then. Your nationality is not on the visa waived list, so you need to apply for an online visa or a visitor visa. Please remember that an online visa is different from NZTA. How should you apply? Keep watching. First, visit the New Zealand immigration website from the link in the description. You'll find the page Explore Visa Options for Visiting. Then, pick your nationality from the list and duration of a stay. Number one, up to three months. Number two, three months or more. The website provides you with various options to choose from. Pick the one that suits your conditions and is easier for you to apply. Preferably, pick the online visa. It's easier to apply. If the option doesn't suit you by law, the website will tell you to pick another one. When you pick the online visa, you need to create an account on Realme by reading the conditions. What is Realme? It's a form of secure online identification. It allows you to use a wide range of New Zealand government digital services using one single username and password. Creating the account, you need to follow the instructions and submit the documents. You can note the list of documents in this video. The website will tell you all to receive your visa. If the immigration law doesn't permit you to enter New Zealand with an online visa, the website tells you to apply for a visitor visa. Are you wondering how? Cool! Keep watching! And wait a bit longer. First, you need to gather the documents. What are they? Here is the list. Number one is the application form. Where to get it? From the link in the description. Complete it with your personal information. In the end, Print, date, and sign the form. Number two is your passport. It needs to be valid for at least six months after the date you will leave New Zealand. Number three is photos with white clear background and 35 by 45 centimeter dimensions. Remember that you need two photos. Number four is a cover letter. It's a letter explaining your travel intention to New Zealand. Are you asking how to write such a letter? Find a sample in the description again. Number five is the itinerary. Provide your plan of activities to do with plane tickets. 
Number six is the financial capability. A bank statement that shows the transactions during the last six months for a bank balance. Number seven is your job status. If you're employed, submit salary receipt over the past three months, a leave letter or permission leave from your employer. If you're self-employed, submit your company's registration documents and financial documents, income tax returns in the previous three years. Let's move to the next one. Number eight is the COVID-19 vaccination certificate. The vaccine you'd received must be approved by WHO. Number nine is the intention to return to your home country. Provide documents that indicate you will return to your home country. Ownership certificates, job contracts, and loans are some examples. Okay then, was it a full list of supporting documents? Well, no. The officials could require further documents. It's up to your nationality and their decision. Remember the points and leave time for it. When you collected the requirements, visit the New Zealand Embassy or the Visa Center website in your home country. Schedule a meeting with them. Then get to the embassy on the scheduled date and bring all the gathered requirements. Do not forget anything. Submit the documents when you meet the officials. Next, pay the visa fees and answer the questions about the purpose of your visit. Give true and honest answers. Remember, it must be compatible with your cover letter. When the visa meeting is over, the officials tell you what to do next and the approximate time your visa will be ready. If your application is rejected, I'm sorry, the embassy sends a letter and say why. When it gets approved, they inform you to pick up your visa. Congratulations, you can move to New Zealand and stay for up to 90 days. Since March 2022, most travelers will be able to self-test on arrival. They no longer need to enter Managed Isolation and Quarantine or MIQ. Let me ask you this, can you extend your tourist visa? Maybe. How if you need more time to complete your tourist trip? Number two, if you can't leave the country for illness or accident, if you have applied for residency for the first time. The essential point to remember is that a New Zealand tourist visa doesn't permit you to work in the country. Do not make this mistake as there are heavy repercussions. But the good news is you can take training courses approved by the Ministry of Education. All right then, this is all you need to know about New Zealand tourist visa. For further details, you can visit the Visa Library article from the link in the description. Before you leave, ensure to like this video and hit the bell. It will help us to make more videos and there will be further updates. Don't you have any questions? Write them down in the comment section and the Visa Library team will respond to them right away. I just recalled it. I had a bonus for you at the beginning of this video. Do you remember it? Download the free PDF file for the New Zealand tourist visa from the link in the description. It will help you a lot in your application process. Stay tuned for more videos and updates. Thank you very much all for watching.